Hi Virgo, welcome to your February Love Connection reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Virgo, this definitely has to be a connection you have of some kind, whether you're together or not. You definitely have to know each other and believe that there is some sort of connection between the two of you. If you are single though also, I also offer a singles reading and that may also resonate with you um, too. So you can find that below in the description box. Your playlists are down there, your general readings and your love readings. So feel free to also uh, check out the singles reading for January. Um, all of your January readings are uploaded. And there's also a lot of information down there in the uh, description box. How to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media. Um, if you'd like to tip or don donate or send a gift. Lots of stuff down there, so please feel free to check that out. So Virgo, welcome everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you had a fantastic Christmas. Hope you are having a wonderful new year. So this is a zodiac oracle, so we could get a sign, element, or planet. Could be somebody you're dealing with. If not, totally fine. This is sort of like a little extra bonus, so if you don't resonate with this part, that's totally fine. As what I say with every reading, only take what resonates Throw, the way, throw away the rest. If you feel like it's not resonating for you, then it's not your reading. And please do not try to make it fit. But if you click down the title, then there may be a message or two, or maybe the whole thing may resonate. So we have Scorpio. So some of you could be dealing with Scorpio, if not. Um, or they could have it in their chart somewhere, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And this reading also, Virgo, is for Virgo, if you have it in your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So... Again, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, or they could have it in their chart somewhere. So, water sign, earth, and water. So, with this deck here, uh, Virgo, I'm going to pull in opening, like, love energy, connective energy between you and your person. And then I will pull one for you, one for them, how you're both feeling about the connection and each other. We'll clarify that energy with the tarot, get the actual situation, um, advice for the connection, and possible outcome of the connection, and we'll get closing messages with that deck. So let's see what's going on here for Virgo in February or at this time. I do say at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless, even though they are dated. All right. So what is the connection energy between the Virgo and the person at this time? Spirit, please. Can we get one card? Feel that one. And we have receive healing one. And I just got this for Sagittarius. That is so weird. So receive healing one. So this could be a brand new connection. Could be a very healing connection. Hmm. Okay. Ones are about new beginnings. All right. So let's see. Let's Virgo. I'm gonna put you on this side and your person on that side. If any time, like I said, you feel like the um, energies need to be switched, please do that. Anytime you see fit. All right. One for you, Virgo, and then one for your person see what you have hidden blessings 26 is eight eight is about all about action movement travel kind of energy and they have reliable eight and three which is 11 which is half of the twin flame number and also going in the right direction on the right spiritual path on the right divine path also and we have reliable so hidden blessings and reliable so i feel like your person sees you as a very reliable person and you see them as a hidden blessing. And it's kind of like you like send healing vibes to one another. Wow, that's a nice energy. Bottom of the deck though here we have barriers, which is 13, which is four. And four is about stability, structure, the basis and foundation. So somebody may have some kind of wall up or barrier or something like that. But I feel like, I feel like somebody broke down somebody's barriers and now they see the healing connection. They see um, how this connection is very healing for them. They now see the hidden blessings. Could be, they see that in you, you see that in them now. Um, breaking down barriers, I feel. All right, so let's see. What's going on for you, Virgo? See what's going on for Virgo. I'm going to clarify this with the tarot. 
get some energy here. So Virgo, uh, I'd like to say thank you to everybody who supported the channel. Thank you so much. I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you. Thank you for your new subscriber, reached out for personal reading, um, tip donated, sent a gift, whatever you've done. It's truly, truly appreciated. And I could not do it without you guys. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So let's see if I can shuffle these this way. So what is this hidden blessings about for Virgo? So, whoop, oh, that's too many. That's three. I only want two for Virgo. So we have the four of coins, which I was thinking the four of coins when I saw this barriers over here with one and three is four. And I thought mm, the four of coins where you're kind of holding back not really giving and you're kind of holding back and also holding on to something and not letting go. But now we have the world energy here. So I feel like the world is about closing chapters, starting new chapters. So I feel like somebody had their wall up with the four of coins kind of holding back, not really giving, just holding on. But now it's like closing out that energy and now starting a new chapter, a new um, whole new world, whole new path. Okay, maybe they received their healing. Um, they know the hidden blessings now. And you kind of see like this treasure chest almost. So hidden blessings in that treasure chest. Ready to start a new chapter. Because barriers have been broken down. So this person over here has the sun, which is total happiness, joy, fulfillment, healing energy. And we have received healing there and a very healing energy here, which is masculine energy. So this could be masculine on the side. So I feel like, um, or it doesn't have to be, I mean, it can be very masculine energy, but doesn't necessarily have to be male or female, you know, if you know what I mean. So it's just energy. So I feel like this person here, this person relied on this person for the healing. They seen them as the sun, very bright, healing, um, kind of a blessing and this person broke down this the barriers of this person when they were holding back and now this person because we got the fire here and the fire over here so this person's ready to start a whole new chapter now because their barriers have been broken down six of one so success victory here success and victory this person on this side definitely knows they've helped to heal this person they know the success victory moving forward in this connection. This person was holding back. They had barriers up, but those barriers have been broken down. They see the hidden blessings and healing energy now, ready to start a whole new chapter. Wow. Okay. So let's get the actual situation for you, Virgo. So we have the King of Coins. So this is your energy, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. So this could be your side. So being very stable now, being, you know, grounded, um, very stable energy, practical, smart, savvy, and the Page of Swords. So truthful communication here. Now expressing how they truly feel. Could be you or your person that is your energy, or this could be your person with your energy on this side. Now, however this resonates for you, but now gaining stability, structure, and now wanting to communicate truths. Could be also keeping tabs on one another also with the Page of Swords, like spying on each other's... Um, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. But here, right in the middle of the spreads, the Knight of Cups. So moving forward in love. Both wanting that, moving forward in love, because there has been healing. And had I not said, holy shit, had I not said the sun was healing this person, shown their light to this person, and sent them healing energy, here's the healing energy with the star. Oh my God. The star in the sun. That is like double whammy. That is like double healing. Faith, hope, optimism. This person remained faithful and hopeful and reliable. Sent out all that positive energy, those healing vibes for wish fulfillment. This is divinely guided energy to success and victory. Now moving forward in love. Truthful, honest communication. Somebody now is not holding back anymore. They have their structure and their stability back. They have growth, abundant. Eight of Wands. So there's that fiery, passionate communication, love messages. Um, so love messages, communication, passionate, fiery energy moving forward and moving forward in love and passion and that communication coming in. 
because healing has been done and it's been sent out to this person. They've received like the blessings of this, the healing of this person. Wow. And their barriers have been broken down. Wow. Okay. So let's get some advice for this connection. Virgo. Faith. Wow. <laughs> Commitment. Commitment. Doing what's moral, just, and right. What's moral, just, and right. Commitment. Faith, hope, optimism, spirituality, religion, structure, uh, morals and values. Ten of Wands. So, uh, burdensome energy here. Releasing of uh, burdensome energies. Nine of Cups to wish fulfillment. Wish fulfillment. So whatever this side has released and healed from, they now may have a new uh, spiritual path. They may be enlightened, may now want a commitment. They want their wish fulfillment, joy, and happiness. Let's see what else here. And the Nine of Coins. So the Nines are usually single energy. I feel like you're both single. And this is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn with the Knight of, um, Nine of Coins. And the Nine of Cups is uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So I feel like you're both single. And I feel like someone finally laid down the burdens that was no longer serving them. Their barriers have been broken down. They've healed for, from whatever they needed to heal from. Now they're very, they could be very spiritual now. Uh, they have the faith, the hope, the optimism like this person had. They see the blessings. They see the healing. They see... You know, they no longer have their barriers up because they released them. Wow, that's, wow. And now they may be wanting, so the advice here is to once you release those burdens, both single, independent, wanting wish fulfillment, happiness and joy. Time to commit now or uh, communicate to level up this uh, connection, either to commitment or, you know, being exclusive whether it's you or them. So let's see the possible outcome. Well, the Queen of Cups, there's that Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So definitely love and emotions, healing energy, intuitive energy, nurturing, caring, giving energy, compassionate energy. Ten of Swords. So painful ending here. I feel like somebody believes in love again after a painful ending because they've hurt, they've healed from it. And the other person shown like a beacon of light to them. Just all this healing, faith, hope, optimistic energy broke down their walls, their barriers about relationships and commitments. And now they're ready to love again with the Queen of Cups energy. Wow. Let's just get another one. <laughs> and ready for a fiery, passionate, divinely guided new beginning here. It's exciting. It's fun. It's passionate. It's creative. So definitely someone healed from something, ready to love again, and having this fiery, passionate new beginning. Wow. And on the bottom, two of swords. So somebody indecisive. I feel like this side for a time, not sure what they wanted. Seven of wands. Maybe they were a little defensive. Maybe they were just working on themselves. And now they're just ready to put the dedicated effort and work in in this connection. Now having truth, clarity, epiphany. Um, open, honest, truthful communication, cutting away that energy that was no longer serving them, standing up for themselves, standing up for themselves against conflict of the past that was no longer serving them, and now dwelling in a place of total love, compassion, fulfillment, peace, harmony kind of energy in the Palace of Cups and the Ten of Cups with their soulmate. Wow. Faith, hope, optimism. Total joy, happiness, fulfillment in every single way. Can't get better than the Palace of Cups. Pure bliss and love. Cutting away that toxic energy no longer serving them. Now wanting to put in the work. They were once defensive and on guard and indecisive, but I feel like now they're willing to work on this. Working on themselves. Um, and this, look what Spirit just showed me was the Ace of Cups. Brand new beginning in love and emotions overflowing. There's, you know, Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, Palace of Cups. Um, so, wow. Let me put that there. 
So for the other signs I see, I see Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, let's see. I see Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, uh, Aquarius. What is this now? Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So those are the other signs I see. So we're going to get some closing messages with this deck, um, Virgo. So I do ask Virgo, if you're new, please check out my channel. If you like what I, what you see, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. And like I said, right now, I do offer a lot of uh, different types of readings, but I may be narrowing it down for now to just love readings. And maybe sometime in the future, I'll bring back the general readings and the spiritual readings. So you can leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And thank you. Okay, Virgo, let's get some closing messages with this deck for Virgo. Our Lady of Quiet Blossoming. So I think, yeah, somebody here, they may have been quiet for a time, 21-3, which is about, you know, teamwork, collaboration, working together, compromise kind of energy. But you see the dove here, peace and harmony. So I feel like somebody was receiving all this peace, harmony, and healing energy. They may have been quiet for a time, but they were blossoming into peace and harmony and that healing energy. Their walls were being uh, torn down. Their barriers were being broken. All right. So let's see. Another one here. Our Lady of the Sacred Sun, which is 15, which is 6, which is going to more balanced healing energy. So the Lady of the Sacred Sun is, this is the uh, Mother Mary Oracle. So, of course, Mary was the mother of Jesus. So <clears throat> I just want to read a little bit about that uh, book. In the book here, it does read kind of awkward because it reads as if Ma uh, Mary Magdalene is talking. Not Mary Magdalene, but <laughs> Mary, the mother of Jesus, is like talking. So uh, my beloved son, my Christ, lives in your hearts. For you are the sons and daughters of love. The Christ is a consciousness of love that belongs to every human soul and will awaken in those that are ready to receive it now through my grace. I ask you to realize that you carry this divine flame of love within. For you, my sons and daughters, it is time for a divine awakening of sacred mask. Okay, so yeah, I remember now. This is like the awakening of divine masculine feminine energy, divine energy. So we could definitely be talking about soulmate twin flames here, with um, especially with the sun there, and with the ten of cups, ace of cups, ace of wands. And this is very divine sacred energy, um, the sacred sun. So let's get um, one more. One more for Virgo. Our Lady of the Rose Crown. 40 and 4 is about stability, structure, the basis. So <clears throat> let's see. Oh, and I opened it right to it. How about that? You are my child and a royal divine being. I protect your spiritual deepening now as you descend further into the living divine heart and know all to be love. As the mysteries reveal themselves to you now, divine rapture awaits you. I shall keep you grounded and authentic, productive in the world that needs your light, even as I guide you into ecstatic communion with your holy nature so hmm. so i guess that is just uh divine spiritual energy there when you think of the rose crown i often think of the crown that jesus had to wear how the thorns you know pierced his um head and you know kind of energy but i think it's just very spiritual energy so let's see bottom of the deck our lady of the dark mysteries six again going into a more healing balance in place so i feel like this person had dark energy they had to heal from um now going into more peaceful harmonious place with that six energy balanced very balanced energy Wow, Virgo. Okay, well, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And always, always shine your light.